Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Bozia, one of the founders of Pudiqua, and today we want to show you how to use chemical exfoliators safely. Our co-founder, Kothar, reviewed my process and gave me the following pointers for how to make my new routine more effective and more safe. In this video, I'll point out errors in my routine and how to correct them. Now, she's recommended, and by she I mean Kothar, this to me for quite a while because I have hyperpigmentation, but I also have sensitive skin. With chemical exfoliation, you're literally using a chemical to exfoliate your skin. So with that comes inflammation. So this is something you really have to keep in mind as you introduce chemical exfoliation into your process. Today I am babysitting a hotel room. I know that sounds ridiculous, but that's basically what I'm doing. I thought I'd use the change of scenery and the better lighting to show you guys my cleansing routine and moisturizing routine with the products I got while I was either in LA or in some of the events that we've gone to recently. So let's get to it. Just to let you guys know, these are brands that are indie brands or brands that started out as indie that are now available in more commercial places like Sephora or Target, but we've all got to start from somewhere. And one of these brands, I actually visited their first store in the U.S. when I was in L.A. and that was in, Man no, it wasn't Manhattan Beach. It was on Abbott Kinney, actually. Needless to say, that's Pixie. So today we'll be using two products by Pixie. One product that's like a fan favorite from Sunday Riley, and then another product from Josie Moran. Let's get to it. To cleanse, I'm starting with Pixie Skin Treats Glow Mud Cleanser. And I tried this in the store and I really loved the way it felt. So I was like, oh my God, I want this on my skin. I might be doing something that's illegal here. So my sister will tell me and we'll add it as comments. But because this has 5% glycolic acid and aloe vera and the Good Jeans also has um, lactic acid. So we'll see. I figure if you're just putting this on and washing it off, should be okay, but let's see. So on the back it says, apply a small amount to damp skin, massage gently for 30 seconds, avoiding eye area, rinse clean and pat dry. It's paraben free and not tested on animals. It's a deep pore cleansing mud with 5% glycolic acid. This gentle yet active cleanser exfoliates to remove dead skin cells and reveal more radiant and healthy skin. It detoxifies pores and deep cleans by drawing out impurities while providing essential nutrients for the skin, for all skin types. Does it have ingredients? Oh, so the main ingredients, aloe leaf juice, safflower seed oil, settle alcohol, glycerol stearate. All right, I'm just gonna list them will be here all day. Anyways, let's go. So, I am going to use some warm water to dampen my skin. Thirty seconds. Who's counting? Well, most people feel inclined to spill this time. With words, I'm just gonna do it in silence and you guys can use 30 seconds to meditate. So next up is my serum. Um, I would typically use my rose water toner, but I forgot it. So we're skipping that step and we'll hope the cold water did it. In any case, I'm using basically a cult favorite, the Sunday Riley 
good jeans. I'll do it like the beauty, do it like the makeup artist. Anyways, this is Sunday Riley Good Jeans. I'll include some details on it below, but the key ingredients are lactic acid, licorice root, and lemongrass. And this is another chemical exfoliator. And they say, deeply exfoliates for clarity, radiance, and younger looking skin, visibly brightens the appearance of dark spots, instantly plumps the look of lines and wrinkles. I've been using this now for actually only a week and I swear like all of this radiance is because of this so you guys can try it and take my word or not but I've really been enjoying using this one thing I will say this is a sample size I got at the Sunday Riley foundation launch we'll do a separate video on that but since then Sephora was having like their annual well semi-annual whatever the sale is will they give you like a measly amount off and I use that discount to buy a full size of this. So I'm committed. I'll put it on Instagram to prove it. Sometimes people need receipts. I'm only gonna use a small amount of this because I, I'm i like ODing on chemical exfoliators and my sister would cringe. But I tend to focus this in my problem area with a lighter layer on areas that um, are better behaved like my forehead. And I have smile line, so I always put it there. It says it's gonna fill those in, so I'm holding it to it. Then I'm gonna start with my, can you see her? She's a sample I also bought in full size, but this is the Josie Moran. Argan Oil SP Moisturizer SPF. It has SPF 47 in it. I've been really liking this as a sunscreen, and this is another one I bought in the full size with the Sephora set. Because girl, without that, struggle. So one thing I will say, you know how sunscreens can leave us poor brown, not poor brown girls, us rich brown girls a little, um, ashy looking. I find when I layer this, like sometimes if I put it on by itself, it does look a little purple. But when I layer it, I don't get that at all. Like look, any purple? Do I even look ashy? Hold on. Focus on me camera. I don't look ashy or if I put on too much like if I go overboard but you really shouldn't because um this is not cheap I like to make sure I get this on my neck too some people forget that but your neck is one of the first places that will tell on you well your neck is one of the first places that will tell on you when it comes to your age so you gotta make sure you get that. And you keep it nice and moisturized, the sunscreen to keep the skin looking as young as the skin you maintain on your face. And then the last thing, I'll go back to the Posey Rose Flash Balm. So it's a hydrating, hydrating radiance boosting balm. It's the ultimate solution for waking up lackluster fatigue skin in a flash. Use at night or in the morning as a treatment primer. Apply a thin layer to face and neck after cleansing. Do not rub. Follow with foundation if desired. You can use as a mask by applying a thick layer and leave, leaving on for five minutes, two to three times a week. So I'll try this both ways at some point, but today I'm just using it as like my final moisturizer. Um, I have to go back and look at the box for ingredients on this, so I'll put a little, let me leave some space. I'll put something here to show you guys what's in it and the key ingredients. Bouncy. I guess that makes sense if it's a primer also. But let's see, it says do not rub. So, like, do I smooth? Do I pat? How do I get this into my... Heart's beat faster in a minute. I'm hot on slow dancing with you. One, two, three, keep it going. This is nice and, um, Sticky. So if you are applying like makeup, 
or if you're traveling and you don't want to carry too like a primer and a moisturizer this is a great this is feeling like it's a great option all right so actually for now I'm gonna run out and run some errands and then I'm gonna come back and do my makeup and anything else I need to do to get my life today I'll see you guys later